A recent rash of copper and manhole cover thefts is leaving the city with holes not only on its streets, but also in its wallets. And 23 ABC's Christine Din is live downtown to show us what thieves are targeting. Christine? That's right, Jackie. Well, whether it be under the ground like copper wiring or on the ground like manhole covers, thieves are swiping whichever they can, and it only takes minutes. Bakersfield police say thieves are hitting the city hard with copper thefts, ranging from underground wiring for street lights to manhole covers. While copper wire theft comes in waves, stolen manhole covers is a new problem. Uh, over a month or two period, we lost about 30 to 40 of those. And they're not cheap or easy to replace. With some of the manhole covers that have been stolen, they are, some of them are 80, 70, 100 years old, have been in the city a long, long time. And they don't make them anymore. And they're real oddball sizes, so now we have to rebuild the whole manhole cover. Thieves have struck city parks all over Bakersfield, ripping out irrigation controls and wiring for park lights. They might get 10 to $20 for the little bit of copper wire that they have from us, but it costs us thousands to repair. The Public Works Department says in the last six months, the thefts have cost the city nearly $150,000 in damages. Not only is it expensive, but dangerous when thieves pull out copper wiring from street lights. They'll make a whole street go dark. Underground holes for copper wiring can be up to 10 feet deep. We've had a couple of uh, people who have uh, fallen into the holes and actually received minor injuries is because of these lids being removed. And if they steal manhole covers off the street, you could potentially have an accident. Now, the public work says these are using the cover of night to commit most of these thefts. Now, if you see someone loitering around manhole covers or street lamps, to please report it to police. Live downtown, I'm Christine Din, 23 ABC.